Now we're going to be talking about adverbs. What are adverbs, you may ask? Well, adverbs are words that modify verbs, adjectives, and other adverbs. They tell how, which is a manner, when, which tells time, where, tells place, how much, what, what degree, and why, the cause. Why is a common one-word adverb that tells why. And we're going to be looking at each category. First, what are the different kinds of adverbs? We have adverbs of frequency, adverbs of manner, adverbs of degree, time, and place. First we're going to look at adverbs of degree. For adverbs that answer how much or to what extent, they are adverbs of degree. For example, they usually modify other verbs, adjectives, or adverbs, making them stronger or weaker. When he wears his running shoes, he moves more quickly among everyone. We can, we can look at to what extent among everyone. Running how he moves, to an extent, more quickly. Quickly is an adverb because of the letters L-Y. That's how you can tell that's an adverb, the letters L-Y. And more is just an adverb describing an adverb. To what extent, more quickly. He's very good at playing the piano. To what extent, or how much, he's very good. She's almost always late arriving at school. How much late arriving? Always. Almost always. And always is also an adverb, too. The English test was extremely difficult. How much? How, how difficult was it? Extremely. Because remember, difficult is an adjective now describing what? The test. Because if you get, if you get this word out, you can say the English test was difficult. But by having that word extremely, which is an adverb of how much, L-Y. Just remember the L-Y. Okay, now we're going to look at adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency express how often. The frequency means how often does it occur. Least, never, almost always. Something takes place. In other words, it explains the intensity of occurrence that an event happens. Adverbs of frequencies are usually in this form. Subject plus adverb plus verb. I usually go to the gym on weekends. How often do you, you go to the gym on weekends? Usually. How often? Usually the adverb. Remember, here we go. Subject, I. Adverb, usually. Verb, go. She always wake up at 7 a.m. How often does she wake up at 7 a.m.? Always. Remember, subject is she. Adverb is always. Verb is wake. The family rarely eat brown rice for dinner. How often? Rarely. There's my family subject. Adverb rarely. A lot of times you can tell by L-Y. Eat is a verb. Because remember, a verb shows what? Action. And I never take sick days. Here it is. I is the subject. Never is the adverb. Take is the verb. Now we're going to look at adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner express how something happens. 
In most cases, for adverbs of manner, you can take an adjective and simply add the letters L-Y. L-Y to form an adverb. The cat runs quickly. You can say the cat runs quick. Quick is the adjective to the cat because you're describing what the cat. But when you add the letters L-Y, it becomes an adverb. She plays the piano, she plays the violin terribly. Letters L-Y makes the word terrible, an adjective to an adverb. The horse moved fast. Sometimes you don't need an L-Y to create an adverb. She plays the piano well. How something happens. How often does she play? I say, how does she play it? Well. Sometimes adverbs not necessarily have to have it to a manner, does not necessarily have to have an L-Y to it. Oh, and also, too, when you're always saying in a sentence, you don't do anything good, you do it well. You never use the word good at the end of a sentence. You can say, I walk extremely well. Or, he plays baseball extremely well. You don't say good. he plays baseball extremely good. You never use good. You always do use well. If you notice on news or reporters, you know how when they say they always use the word well, or host on talk shows, always use the word well, not good. Now we're going to talk about adverse of place, where... Adverbs of place described where an action takes place. In addition, we usually find adverbs of place after the main verb. If you want to see the hot air balloon, you will have to go outside. Where will I have to go? Outside to see the air balloon. Outside is an adverb because it's talking about where. I searched everywhere, but I couldn't find him. Where did I search? To, but I can find them. Where did I search? Everywhere. Remember, we usually find adverbs of place after the main verb. My main verb is searched. He walks downstairs to meet his father. Where does he go? Where does he walk to meet his father? Downstairs. So sometimes, Sometimes direct objects can also be adverbs. Usually, direct objects usually comes right after the, that comes right after the verbs are usually most likely adverbs. And finally, the adverbs of time. Adverbs of time they tell us when the verb happened or will happen. For example, afterwards, every day, recently, are adverbs of time and describes when. For example, I'll visit the doctor recently. Talking about when did I visit the doctor? Recently. Yeah. For it to tell us, us when the verb happened, I visited the doctor recently. The word visited is a verb because it's doing action. And recently, is an adverb of time. When did I visit the doctor's office? Recently. We will go to the festival tomorrow. When will we go to the festival? Tomorrow. Yesterday, we played in the basketball tournament. When did we play in the tournament? Yesterday. She, she'll eventually finish studying and go to the university. When will she finish studying? Eventually, she will finish studying. And finally, they ate popcorn and watched movies all day. When did the verb happen? They watched movies. When? All day. Some more examples of adverbs. He kicked the ball slowly. 
How did he kick the ball? Slowly. He kicked the ball immediately. When did he kick the ball? Immediately. He kicked the ball forward. Where did he kick the ball? Forward. He kicked the ball too hard. How much did he kick it? He kicked it too hard. And that ends in adverbs.